Hello YouTube Infinite Magic Ray community, Gandalf here. It is a real struggle and you know, it's just so not used to playing a brand new account like this um, and getting completely wrecked in PvP when you normally wouldn't expect to deal with this kind of shenanigan and it's like trying to balance between what your account needs from a PV PV P perspective, PVE perspective, of course, is the priority. Then you try to figure out the PVP part. And what you're finding out is, god damn, these Liz are so annoying. I forgot how annoying Liz was early game, just because you can't HP burn this thing. And man, it's so annoying. Like, whoops, uh, probably should have... Uh, like all the H, all the all the dots you apply gets turned into heals. And you're trying to but you can I guess what you can do is you can um I suppose you can you can you can't yeah, you can't even apply the dots. So so that's why Thank goodness for adding Adeline to it. Like, Hazanja is asking for trouble. Like, you, but you're allowed to do direct um, damage to it, I guess. There you go. But man, Liz are, are so annoying. Um, I think I said that multiple times now. Um, it is definitely worth it. I see someone's got uh, Catherine. That's actually what I'm trying to work on now. So... First of all, update for everyone. I think in the last video, I talked about getting 200 stars. So I went ahead and did those regressions. And you can see that I am at um, just enough. Um, yeah, so this was with the team of Lysander, Liz, and uh, and Grace. Just level them all 1 to 150 really take advantage of your regressions, right? So if you look at my regression count, I literally have two left, which was good enough, right? Enough to get those 200 stars. Now I can really focus on, on green. Uh, I pushed as far as I can on blue. I'm not gonna bother with these for a while. My main team is gonna focus on green mark because I'm gonna have Hazanja, I'm gonna have Hazanja Adeline, Space, I'm gonna get Nordak eventually, so as my first mythic. And I just noticed um, they're so generous giving you 50 mythic shards right there um, plus the beginner manual ones right like it's like in your first week um, you're gonna be on your way to get your mythic shard I'm at 29 right now so plus the 50 plus another 21 from uh, from probably gonna aim for advanced arena event ranking so I'm definitely gonna be trying to aim for maybe maybe at least top 50 right top 50 is well, you can definitely go for early, early on. I haven't just, I haven't grinded yet. Um, probably makes sense um, defense wise to really bring it down to just one hero each. I almost want to just, um, I just really want to drop to be honest. Um, I just have people hit me, right? Like maybe, maybe leave just one team and tell people to hit my rest. Like, I don't know if people are willing to do that. Let, let's just let's just try that and see if people are willing to hit me. Um, hopefully that works. Um, but you do, like, it's far more efficient to hit three teams where you can win than trying to, you know, hit two teams and then, like, this is just really annoying to deal with. So I would just say that, you know, um, help each other out if you're on the server. Set easy defenses. Yes, I understand yesterday was settlement, but really, like, you know what? You know, for for making a point, I am going to make, you know, all level one team. Please hit me. Drop me down a few levels so it's easier for me. Let's farm off each other. Get some points. Um, settlement come later. Um, back to arena here. It is very brutal, and I'm not gonna make it very far in the championships. Don't vote for me. Uh, I do know Sol Sol Soljdin in our in our guild. 
Uh, Shodan, Shodin, Shodin. There we go. Pronunciation. It's almost like he know he was gonna get featured by me, and、uh, he wants to make sure I pronounce his name right. <laughs> Shodin.、Um, I checked his team. He has、uh, Eratos, and Eratos E zero. The moment he brings someone down to to um thirty percent, Eratos is gonna go crazy. So knowing that Mackin can probably bring someone low enough to get the chain reaction going, dang, he's uh he's got a run for it. I think I think a couple other people on the server have Eratos, but I know he definitely has one. Uh, I was checking out his、uh, guild boss team last last time. Don't know if he's done his yet. Okay,、um, but I know he、um, yesterday I saw him doing like 33 mil in one go. So that's awesome to have.、Uh, you know,、uh, I don't know if he's considered as a whale or not at this point, but、um, uh, his team is definitely quite something.、Uh, a ranking, you can see him. Up here with、uh, Eratos in there, and he's got his E,、uh, his、uh, E one on Sendo already.、Uh, some of the best players. Okay, someone here took a Moshi, so Moshi is definitely going to be a big uh, uh, relic. I am too. I think you messaged me. Come over to our guild.、Um, need to make some space.、Um, so let's see who hasn't been on.、Um, Okay, I'm sorry. You haven't been on for more than 24 hours.、Uh, I am really tempted to. Let's see if anybody's on the two days to kick list. Okay, well,、um, let's first raise the bar a bit. Probably need to let it to go maybe to 400 now, given we're like on day four.、Um, and you know, if if you're watching.、Uh, I know many people here are part of my community. I don't want to offend anyone, but I think a general rule of thumb is we're gonna try to do、um, no more than if it shows ever shows up as two day, we're we're gonna、um, uh, boot the person. So I'm just gonna make that for the record here.、Uh, let's be active and win because it's really nice to have the division set up. So it's like you can't leverage being part of a guild. So the guild event is actually gonna be really relevant because we're gonna be like new player versus new player, so it'll be really fun. Let's be active and win. If I ever see two days offline, I sadly have to boot you until okay. So with that out of the way,、um, definitely looking forward to getting this legendary eye.、Um, It's hard to think about what hero to invest in. Like before your tier one, like for the people who start on server, a lot of you have Adeline. Adeline definitely is one I think is worth investing in. Adeline is going to be a great boss killer added to your team. So first one is going to allow you to activate、uh, two more times, which means Thunder,、uh, Crimson Thunder, and Crimson Tornado.、Um, these skills are going to hit a lot harder. Okay. So E1 is really good from that perspective. Now let's look at the E2. E2 will last until the end of the turn. So when there's two more layer,、uh, we'll get. A, so this means these stacks are going to come up faster, right? That's going to also going to add to the damage. Finally, each layer, this is going to just scale up the damage drastically. So I would consider,、um, you know, since a lot of people, you know, started this week with Alan on the summit, Alan is definitely. Uh, one worth summoning. Now, for whatever reason, you want to build a you know a bleed team as your main core.、Um, Nidroid E two and E three are both really good, so you could go down that path. If you decide to get a Malosh, and what I just noticed is there is a much cheaper way of getting Malosh.、Um, Malosh is available here at ninety chests. So if you do ever plan to get one of these chests, you're going to get a Malosh along the way.、Uh, this is another also another great way of starting out. And I did some math. I was like, maybe I. Well, I can't say I screwed up because Atkins is really good, right? But if you happen to spend, you know, another extra hundred dollars, this probably would have been the right path because if we look at the value pack here, you can get two.、Um, wait, where's the? No, this is the. 
No, that's not it. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, the firecracker stuff. You can get 15 here, so 17 more. And then the firecrackers, I think... Um, Like this 60 definitely is going to be enough, right? This 60 is definitely going to be enough to to wrap it up, I think. 60 plus um 60 plus 87. So we're going to be at 87, 87 plus 21. Um I think we have three more days, right? So we get another another 12. So 12 plus here is going to be at 53 plus 87. I think if I'm not wrong, it's going to be just like about $130 or so. So you're going to get this limited chest, you get Malosh, you get some of this. But along the way, along the way, um, you get all of these rewards along the way. So it's up to you, right? I, it's, I don't think, you know, from what's the best $100 to spend in terms of that beginner wish choice, getting Atkins and, uh, and a limited hero selection chest. I still think that was probably the best choice for me. Um, just, just casually small dripped a little bit more uh, I'm trying to really keep to the original goal uh, really feel like some of the things like just on the make sale front right like um, there there's some stuffing here on the seven days like just it was like two dollars I was like uh, for all those scrolls right making my life a little bit easier just those tiny little ones. Um, so right now we're at a place where I can probably start making consider one more hero. Um, and I am going to push for 100 turns within health. That's You can see I'm making progress. I finished, I think, all of stage 7 now. Now we can do a little bit of stage 8. I feel like running 3 DPS definitely is going to help a lot um, with the, the turn meter management a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I can auto this just because I want to be safe. Um, the goal here is really you want to AOE it down once. Uh, probably put the consolidation up because the shielding is not going to help you at all. Do the AOE. And then hopefully, you know, we'll decide who to take out here. Um... Yeah, let's get rid of that um, and then I think you can almost get everyone out because of the HP burn so Hazanja E1 is going to be a huge help um, now it's when we shield up for everybody and yeah, let's take out the main threat oh that's not enough Fray hitting through shields are going to hurt. Um, I know that. I know that much. Um, okay, let's get the consolidation and everything up. Let's try one more. Okay, good. See how good Ally is? But definitely you notice that Ally is, is really getting herself killed. Um, so that's why E1 will make that a little bit better and not have to... Um, suffer so much um, shield up big AOE and just just being able to s oh my god what the heck was that maybe because I had Lydia back then um it didn't uh, appear to me that it was this brutal with phrase. Um, now we're gonna have a try again. Great, wonderful. Um, so yeah, so I will be squiggling through this over the next two to three hours. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, gonna have to probably manual a lot of these stages because I'm, it's almost like a complete replay through. Like I left a lot of um, stars to fill out. Uh, looking forward to grabbing that extra scroll for sure. Um, I do believe the strategy is going to work. Let's probably go back and finish our classic arenas here. I think I already talked about the nastiness of Liz. Um, but you could deal with a main threat. And you can see the fact that having um, 
Uh, having Adeline on my team, I can deal with the main threats. Aiden's also really strong, by the way, um, for PVE purposes. You just um, so Aiden can definitely wipe a lot of uh, wipe a lot of stuff out. Claude, not so much. Um, let's deal with. Let's make sure we kill the yeah kill the main threat there, because I'm tired of dying to Mackins. A closed Claude, unfortunately, like with all direct damage dealer early game, the main problem we're gonna see with all of them is that. They just simply don't hit hard enough because you can't set up the... Okay, that kind of hurt, but eh, still need to hit me a little bit more than that. Like, um, Anna, of course, has no skills, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem for me. Oh, great. Now we're going to have to watch this brutal thing. Okay, done. Like, Anna doesn't have an aura. Like, everything's been moved over a little bit. But without Anna, like, I'm just not going to be able to hit hard enough. Just so that I'm going to struggle a lot. Let me know your th thoughts in the comments below, right? Like, oh my gosh, that is a very fast list. That's amazing fast. Jesus. Well, you got me there, buddy. You got me there. Um, but at least I think all of these counts towards, um, the one, 150. So, um, ideally you don't waste your tickets, right? Like all these tickets are important. It helps you towards your, your goal of, uh, finishing, finishing the working towards your, your talent. So it's very valuable. Um, but yeah. Maybe I just need to my t make my team a little bit faster because I know space at this point uh, only boosts 20% turn meter. I was just really amazed to see someone to almost 2,000 speed this early in the game. So, so that looks really nice. Um, it's okay. The Nizel is not E1, so we can just go right into it. All right, and that Moshi. E3 Moshis are so scary because they take that extra turn, right? Gives himself attack up and extra damage. Just so scary. Um, you know, having... And the nice thing about Lydia is you can bring Lydia into your team at this stage in the game without any skill up, without any levels, because she's going to do her job. The two jobs she needs to do, one is just to poke someone, to get that uh, early turn meter, but also the other part is, uh, oh, oh my God, 250 wins. Um, well, probably gonna do that next event and next summoning event. And then one more stage, then we're at Catherine. So so definitely looking forward to that. Um, Catherine E1 is gonna be really helpful. Let's see how far we're from the Catherine from Tower Mark. 240, 240. Um, yeah, 240 means averaging out around 60. Maybe I should have pushed it a little bit harder, but um, this is where we're, we're hoping, you know, I'm definitely going to be building a whim. I'm hoping whim and Mackin can help me get a few star over here. And of course, Hazanja, uh, once we get Nordak, we're going to be able to push real hard over here. Uh, Adeline is going to definitely help me with the single target issues here. So uh, definitely looking forward to solving a lot of the issues on that. We're just going to manual it through. Um, so I think that should be fine. So with that update out of the way, um, I'll catch you in the next episode of the new account playthrough. Um, definitely, I think the greatest thing about doing this is it helps me with my ability to connect with you. Um, playing on a Megalodon account as much as it's fun. And you will see, a, uh, I'll try to make sure my content is kind of 50-50 between the two. So that, you know, we have, I, I know I have a lot of seasoned viewers as well. And some people just like to watch content creator just completely destroy stuff. So, you know, I'll, I'll gladly destroy any content on the other accounts as well. So, so with that, um, you know, you will see a little bit of both on this channel. Hopefully that makes everyone happy. And uh, of course, all of these content are part of a playlist. So if you'd like to see how we got to this point um, or trying to catch up, if you're, I guess if you're watching this in the future, 
you know, seeing how you're going to progress along at the same pace, um, you'll get a sense of it as well. Anyways, we're on day four. I know at the beginning I'm covering a lot more. I don't know if we'll be covering at the same level of frequency, but definitely I'm thinking at least, you know, one to two videos. I think two videos at least a minimum on this count a week. Um, but giving everyone a heads up, uh, it is into July. I am taking a lot of time off. Um, my parents are coming over uh, and we're going to be going camping. So I might be, and um, there's a bunch of stuff we're doing. So uh, there will be periods of time where I might not be uploading content but I'll try to make sure that, you know, I won't be, you know, all of a sudden silent for like a week long. Um, all right. So that's it. Um, and for, of course, uh, if you're watching this on July 1st and you're in Canada, happy Canada Day. Uh, take care, everyone. Gandalf out.